welcome to this uh, follow-up session of the Polycom Resource Manager. You might have looked at the uh, first video uh, which I did about installing, getting your licenses, uh, getting the, uh, the trio added, and talk about the policies and everything. In this video, uh, I want to take a follow-up uh, and do a follow-up on that and, and show you uh, further uh, how you can create groups, add sites, uh, add some uh, different policies, uh, show policy uh, to do software uh, up upgrade and everything. So let me take you through. Here you see Polycom Resource Manager. So as you can see, it's opened up in the browser, make connection to the unit. Of course, that can be a secure uh, connection. It's using resource manager using uh, uh, the HTML5 uh, code uh, so you can use this uh, on, uh, on any device just using your, your browser. Under resource manager and uh, uh, depending on your licensing uh, if you bought a resource manager specifically for VVXs uh, uh, or, or voice portfolio you have this section available and uh, just the phone uh, piece in the resource manager and here you can uh, start adding phones as I showed you uh, in the previous uh, uh, video you can see how to add those uh, different represents trio or the uh, the VVXs and as you can see here I got some VVXs added here from my lab and also two real presence trios are, uh, are added here so what I want to show you in this video is how to uh, continue work on that so we create an, uh, for example a site based on the uh, IP address range uh, so we put them in different sites and then you can bound policies to a specific site or to a specific group this is all uh, very flexible in uh, in your Polycom resource manager so let me uh, let me show you now how to work on those uh, on those policies and also software uh, software updates etc so what I did is I uploaded here some uh, some software which is now available on the system so I got here uh, specifically uh, VVX software and the other software is for example for the trio the first thing you need to do when you've installed the uh, resource manager and uh, you add it to your devices through the DHCP server so they will automatically here uh, show up in the uh, monitoring view is you need to configure some policies around it, some groups, uh, sites, the site is based on IP address uh, and you can start building your, your policy around it for the specific phones you have on that, uh, on that site. So what I usually do is the first thing uh, is getting some sites. So you see here Internet VPN as the default site. So we need to make sure that these devices which are added now are part of the Amsterdam uh, location as a, as a site because these phones are, are all here so we go for the sites to network topology we go to sites and then we're gonna start building a site as I said this is the internet VPN so we're gonna add policy here and we call it Amsterdam site Amsterdam location we got it Specify the location, Amsterdam. Okay, this is all for the uh, for the map which is inside uh, Resource Manager. And now we need to find the subnets. So we're going to add IP address. All right, and this with the 24 mask. So we need to make sure we capture all the devices which are in that uh, subnet. Okay. And then we have another one. Okay, also with a 24 mask. Okay, and we say okay. So we now we have our Amsterdam site. So if I now go back into my endpoint, into my monitoring view, all devices now are identified as the Amsterdam site. This is the first step. Well, the other thing we can do is we can go, uh, for example, here into phone management and then the uh, profile deployment. In the pro profile deployment, we can have a global policy 
for example, uh, we want to uh, enable, for example, Bluetooth on all devices. Uh, so we can search here, for example, for Bluetooth enabled. Say apply. And we say, you see here two buttons there. Uh, you see OK and you see apply. Apply means push it now uh, out to the phone directly. Or if you do OK, then it will be based on uh, the polling time that is uh, configured for the phones. So besides uh, global, uh, where you can, uh, I put now the Bluetooth enabled, but I can imagine that you also maybe want to uh, have the Skype business interface enabled. Eh? So also as a, as a policy, we could say uh, Skype, base profile Skype, we say apply, we say okay. So this could also be a global policy. Uh, you put the phone on, hook it up to the network, and then by default, uh, the phone comes in with the Skype uh, for business interface. So groups you can also create uh, groups. Uh, so here, for example, I have here some uh, VVX phones, uh, which are just here for uh, for demo, where I want to turn off uh, the device uh, lock. So I can, for example, here say Amsterdam device lock off uh, Amsterdam uh, specifically a VVX device lock off associate devices so I want to associate the uh, uh, 501 uh, 601 and for example the 301 associate the configuration profile uh, we search for lock device lock disabled we say apply and we say, in this case, eh, again, you see apply and okay. Okay means it will be pushed out eh, when uh, the polling time comes. Or when we say apply, it will be pushed out directly. So if we click that, we say apply. We got this now pushed out to, uh, to the phones, which are part of that, uh, that group. So you can also do it based on the, eh, on the endpoint models and uh, also on the site where you can see you just have the site and as a last one and you can do it based specifically on the uh, on the endpoint now for software upgrades you go to configuration profile and you create a policy here so what i can do now is i uploaded the software uh, earlier you can call this for example vvx software upgrade then you go to the attribute and here you can go to the drop down menu. So you say here UCS software you want to load. You say OK. As soon as you got your policy created to do the software update, you can now apply them to a policy. So let's say you want to do a quick service update. You can even do it on a global level or on a specific uh, sites or you want to do it per location. So let's say on a global level, you just gonna add that policy. So you're gonna do software VVX software upgrade. You're gonna do apply. And if I wanna force this now, for example, to these devices, you say apply. And then you hear a quick reboot here from the phones. And what is happening is send out a signal to the devices and now it will retrieve the latest software update. So after you forced the software upgrade and uh, like I said uh, maybe it's an emergency uh, patch uh, or you want to force out some specific update the phones will automatically be booted by resource manager and uh, those will initiate now an upgrade. See that the phones are retrieving now the software update and saving the new updater file. All being loaded now from the Polycom resource manager. Now we can do the same thing, for example, with the Real Presence Trio. So again, we go to configuration profiles and we make here, for example, say Trio software real presence 
Trio software. Upgrades. Attributes. Oh, we point to the software edition we want to push out. We say, okay. And we do the same thing. But now, for example, I can, I can also base that on endpoint groups. Yeah, so I could create a group here. Amsterdam, group presence, trio, group, associate them. And so here I put in the trio in this demo room and a trio in the other de demo room. I add this, say okay. So now we also have a group presence trio group. And here we do the same thing. So we go to the specific group and we point here to the software, real presence trio software update. We say apply. Now if we press OK, it will just wait for the polling time, which is by default at, uh, at night. But if I say apply now, this policy will be pushed out directly to, uh, to the device. So let me say apply now, say apply, and now this will be pushed out. Let's look at the device, what is happening. So if you have applied it in resource manager, what you will notice, the real presence trio, you see here the download icon, that it's downloading the software, and after the software is downloaded, it will be installed. So what you notice here after the uh, upgrade, the phone is rebooted. As I said, uh, it's the uh, global policy. I want the uh, Sky for Business interface, so that is automatically uh, now configured. And also, uh, if you got a Visio Plus connected to the Trio, you see also that now it's upgrading. So as soon as your devices, the real presence trio, VVXs are updated, uh, or you want to check if they're already updated, you can go here into the resource manager on the monitor view, and you can check here by clicking on a specific endpoint, just click on that I, and what will happen, it will give you a sort of a bird view of which version is running. So on the right side you see here device summary and here you can see exactly 545 is now for example on this trio. If you want to check the VVX here and we got here a version 5.6 for example on the VVX. So here you can easily check after the update and after the upgrade if all the devices are, uh, are updated to that, uh, to that release.